Welcome to English Practice Every Day. The idioms that we will learn today are 1. Have an axe to grind. Have an axe to grind. 2. Behind closed doors. Behind closed doors. 3. Tough cookie. Tough cookie. 4. Canary in the coal mine. Canary in the coal mine. 5. For better or worse. For better or worse. 6. Head off. Head off. 7. Act your age. Act your age. Let's start. Please speak out loud with me. 1. Have an axe to grind. Have an axe to grind means to have a strong opinion or personal reason for being involved in something, often for selfish or hidden reasons. The journalist didn't write that article out of pure concern. It's clear he had an axe to grind with the politician. The journalist didn't write that article out of pure concern. It's clear he had an axe to grind with the politician. It's hard to trust Joe's advice when you know he has an axe to grind and is only thinking about his own interests. It's hard to trust Joe's advice when you know he has an axe to grind and is only thinking about his own interests. Eve spoke so passionately during the debate, but it was obvious she had an axe to grind regarding the policy change. Eve spoke so passionately during the debate, but it was obvious she had an axe to grind regarding the policy change. Two behind closed doors. Behind closed doors means in private or secretly, where others cannot see or know about it. They negotiated the terms of the contract behind closed doors, away from the public eye. They negotiated the terms of the contract behind closed doors, away from the public eye. After several meetings behind closed doors, the two countries finally reached a secret agreement. After several meetings behind closed doors, the two countries finally reached a secret agreement. Important political decisions often take place behind closed doors without the knowledge of the public. Important political decisions often take place behind closed doors without the knowledge of the public. Three, tough cookie. Tough cookie means a strong, determined person who is not easily hurt or affected. Emily handled the criticism with grace and strength, proving once again that she is a tough cookie. Emily handled the criticism with grace and strength, proving once again that she is a tough cookie. Even though things got really tough at work, Sam didn't give up because he's always been a tough cookie. Even though things got really tough at work, Sam didn't give up because he's always been a tough cookie. Despite all the challenges Grandma has faced in life, she remains a tough cookie and never lets anything break her spirit. Despite all the challenges Grandma has faced in life, she remains a tough cookie and never lets anything break her spirit. Four. Canary in the coal mine. Canary in the coal mine means something or someone that acts as an early warning of danger. The sudden drop in sales was a canary in the coal mine, signaling deeper issues within the company.
The sudden drop in sales was a canary in the coal mine, signaling deeper issues within the company. The rapid disappearance of certain animals is often seen as the canary in the coal mine for environmental problems. The rapid disappearance of certain animals is often seen as the canary in the coal mine for environmental problems. Dad's frequent health problems became the canary in the coal mine that made us realize we needed to change our lifestyle. Dad's frequent health problems became the canary in the coal mine that made us realize we needed to change our lifestyle. Five, for better or worse. For better or worse means no matter if the situation is good or bad. The new CEO's changes are happening, for better or worse, and everyone in the company will be affected. The new CEO's changes are happening, for better or worse, and everyone in the company will be affected. The decision to move abroad has been made, for better or worse, and now we have to deal with the consequences. The decision to move abroad has been made, for better or worse, and now we have to deal with the consequences. Marriage means standing by each other for better or worse, even when life gets tough and things don't go as planned. Marriage means standing by each other for better or worse, even when life gets tough and things don't go as planned. Six, head off. Head off means to prevent something from happening or to start a journey or leave a place. We should head off now if we want to catch the train and avoid the crowds at the station. We should head off now if we want to catch the train and avoid the crowds at the station. The police worked quickly to head off the protest before it escalated into something bigger. The police worked quickly to head off the protest before it escalated into something bigger. Ivy left the house early in the morning to head off any traffic and make sure she arrived at work on time. Ivy left the house early in the morning to head off any traffic and make sure she arrived at work on time. Seven, act your age. Act your age is an expression to tell someone to behave in a way that is appropriate for their age or maturity level. Stop being so immature. Act your age. Take some responsibility for your actions. Stop being so immature. Act your age. Take some responsibility for your actions. Anna was jumping around and yelling in public, so I told her, Come on, act your age. Anna was jumping around and yelling in public, so I told her, Come on, act your age. Even though Tom's already 40, he still behaves like a teenager most of the time, so a friend says, Act your age, Tom. Even though Tom's already 40, he still behaves like a teenager most of the time. So a friend says, act your age, Tom. That's all for this idiom practice session. 
Please keep practicing the idioms we've learned today until next time when we'll pick up seven more idioms and master them. Bye for now.